Hello again, I'm Ephraim225, and welcome to my uh, very random, probably one-shot Advance Wars DS challenge video. Um, I literally just thought of this challenge last night and tried it, and I thought it was very interesting to look at, so I'm gonna do it in a video for you guys. So, we know that in the Advance Wars DS War Room, a lot of maps were altered to give Orange Star more of an advantage because now that the player is up against a stronger AI, they thought the player needed a little bit more to work with. But in Span Island's case, that really broke the map because with that base in the middle of the map already belonging to you, it was very easy to just run over the enemy in my opinion. So I thought, what if the player played from Blue Moon's position against Orange Star? And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. I've already decided on my CO, I'm going to be playing Kindle against Andy. And uh, this is going to be much, much harder than it looks. Either I will get completely wrecked, or I will uh, shut the enemy down instantly. And it's not easy to figure out how to do that. Also, this is going to be a capture battle because I don't think we see enough of those. It's going to be 12 properties to win, which means that I just have to capture the base in the center of the map and then everything to the right in order to win. But Andy only needs like two properties on my side in order to win, so this this is actually much more difficult than it might seem. And uh, I don't want to take forever playing this, so setting the capture count to 12 really helps with that. Also, the AI is set to defensive. I don't really have any knowledge on how the different AIs work, so... If somebody uh, more knowledgeable than me is out there, please let me know. So, here we go. Uh, Andy's going to start by building a mech in that center base. So, already we're in a bit of... Uh, well, we have a challenge to overcome. That's what I'm going to say. I really need a tank on turn 2. So, I'm going to save some money and build that tank on turn 2. Now, um, I'm playing as Kindle... And Kindle is actually a bit of a powerful CO, but I think I really need that kind of an advantage. Because I tried this with Jess, and Jess's boosts were not enough to actually like do a decent amount of damage to the enemy. And I tried it with Grit, and that worked out better, but Grit was, um, well, he was pretty boring to play, I gotta say. I mean, you just spam artillery with him and win. It's not much. I'm going to move on to the mountain, and I'm going to use Kindle's attack boost on properties to damage this tank, and that is actually a very lucky blast. It took him all the way down to 1 HP, whereas normally it would take him down to 2. And I'm going to make a recon now, because I need a really fast-moving unit in order to deal with all of the stuff that's about to be thrown at me. So the artillery actually rolled forward. It does not always do that. There is some variance to the... AIs play in DS, and if the artillery rolls forward, that's actually very good, because you can do this series of moves, and you're getting an artillery, well, you're attacking the artillery from a city, so that's nice. You can just shut down that artillery right away. And, um, let's see here. Uh, I guess the recon can go, oh, where can it go? Can't really hit anything from here, so I'll move it up to there. And now I'm going to need some artilleries because, you know, you think I'm out of the woods already. I'm actually not. In a couple of turns, actually, huh. Wait, Andy is supposed to build a medium tank. But he actually built a recon? All right, now I'm confused. Okay, so normally Andy gets an art, um, he normally gets a medium tank on, like, this turn, I think, because he saved up money for it but that doesn't seem to be happening uh i guess good for me <laughs> well i'm sure you guys would have been interested in me actually having to deal with the medium tank but now that that's not happening i don't know what to say um well i guess let's just see what happens from here uh, he's going to use his regular power, which is weird because he doesn't have a lot of damage units. The AI is actually smart enough to not use Hyper Upgrade if they um, don't really have any units that would benefit from it. Okay, so the Recon is actually trying to cut me off, so that might actually be problematic, but I can blow it up in one hit. And I can capture these, and I gotta stop that um, infantry, so let's come down here... If I could take it off the property completely... 
Oh, actually, could I do that? Um, I've got... No, the, this infantry is not in range. Okay, so this might be trouble because we have two tanks to deal with. So I guess go here and... Um... Well, now I'm in a situation that I've never really been in before, so I guess this could be entertainment enough for you guys. Let's just build these. This was a bad spot for the artillery, actually. Okay, let's play like that. I'm not on the base anymore, but it's fine. Alright, three enemy tanks to deal with. Um, I can move here and attack this infantry. I can do... Um, I gotta get rid of the one that's blocking my tank from going forward. But this one is about to finish its capturing, so stop it there. I think I will take this artillery down here. And make this series of moves. Uh, there's still this tank up here. I don't want to fire at it. What I want is to just stop it where it is. Uh, you're going to need a lot of infantry in a challenge like this, by the way. Okay, I'm not going to be able to... Well, I could capture this if uh, if it goes well for me. Oh, I've got high society. Which might help. I don't know, though. You know what? He's nowhere close to getting his power, so... I think I will go ahead and use this. It gives you firepower based on how many buildings you have. Which is not a lot at the moment. But it should be a fairly decent amount. Okay, that's very bad, actually. Well, I was gonna blow this thing up and then hit the, um... Maybe hit this? No, I don't want to do that. Actually, do that. I need money. Like, very badly. <laughs> so, I need to do some capturing, like, right away. That's a lot of damage, though. I am on the city, and I am also um, under the effect of high society. So, it's pretty nice. Okay, I think I need a regular tank now. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, he's got hyper repair, but he won't use it. Okay. Okay, this is good. It's good that the mech in front decided to attack first. And what is this artillery doing? It really doesn't want me to get that um, city back. Okay, and blow you guys up. This is fine. Um, I can capture this because, oddly, the uh, enemy did not decide to do anything with it at all. But there sure are a lot of enemy units at the moment. Um, this, this one should go here. And, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so this has gone very, very differently from how it normally does. As I said, normally the enemy would have a medium tank, which would probably reduce the enemy's unit count, to be perfectly honest. Oh yeah, I forgot that the artillery actually fired at this infantry. Okay. But still, uh, now that I'm set up, I should be able to like actually use Kindle's abilities to pull through a little... At least get a couple of good hits in. Yeah, now I can actually use the city and I'm getting healing from it and everything's good. Yeah, I think I'm in much better shape now. 
I can only hope that I did not disappoint anybody by hyping this up only for the enemy to not build. Oh, well, he's got Hyper Upgrade. So, he's got that going for him at least. There's like only two units that can do any real damage with this. Depending on what targets they pick. Oh, why did this tank go down? That's very weird. Okay, so the enemy artillery actually pulled back. Um, I guess I should wait for another high society. So yeah, do these. And do this. By the way, I'm not concerned for any sort of rank, because uh, this is versus mode, so it's unranked anyways. Oh, he actually got me with that. Okay. Okay, so the tank can come over here. Uh, yes, I know this is in range of the enemy artillery, but that's actually part of the plan. Because if the artillery deigns to fire, well, I, I could fire at it, to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, why not? I need some more, I need some actual infantry on the other side, though. If you've ever undervalued your infantry, just look at this video. Because now I need them to actually capture stuff in order to win. Oh yeah, but firing at the artillery with my tank also placed me in range of the enemy artillery. Alright, time for high society again! This gives me a little bit of extra power. Let's see how much. That's quite a bit of extra power. I did not expect the KO. Right, move down here. Alright, I need to pick my targets very carefully. Um, probably get rid of the artillery. And then the tanks. And I can fire at the artillery in the back. So this is all very good. There aren't really any big units left, so... I just need to secure the base and get an infantry over there. I've beaten this in 15 turns with these settings. There are probably faster ways. Oh, that's a very interesting move. Destroying the 1 HP uh, infantry so the recon can get past. That was very interesting. This game really does have a better AI than the other Advanced Wars games, but not, but not perfect, of course. Let's see, should I uh, do that? Oh, it didn't work. I want to be careful of the enemy tank, though. So... Yeah, at this point, I'm just cleaning up. I think I'm in the clear. I shouldn't need a whole lot much more. But I will start getting some tanks. Oh, the tank actually moved back. Yeah, I think it's staying out of artillery range, because the AI will try to avoid going into your artillery range, sometimes. Or that might be a property of the defensive AI, because that's the setting I'm using. I'm just shy of being able to actually occupy the base, so they can't do anything with it. Alright, so go ahead and fire here. And I guess I have to blow that up. And it won't be long now. Not as fast as my previous attempt. But at this point, I'm just cleaning up. 
Yeah, as you can see, if I did not make this a capture battle, it would take even longer. Oh yeah, here comes a hyper upgrade. I don't think he can do a whole lot with it. He's got two tanks he can move. So yeah, imagine if I had to actually, like, push all the way to the enemy HQ. That would take a very long time. I am going to use Urban Blight. This is far more annoying than High Society, and sometimes it's even more useful, like in this spot, since it damages units on properties. So that should be able to take this unit out completely. Yep. Take the 1 HP artillery and put it there. And this also gives you a boost to damage from properties. Like, the, the damage boost that you get. Won't be able to really show that, though. I'm gonna stay out of the enemy artillery range this time. And I think I'll take out this tank as well while I'm at it. Or at least try to. I was hoping for a bit of a luck roll. Uh, I'll keep up the tanks. That was a bad position to build the tank in. I thought I had selected the other base. Slight misclick. Okay, if he moves on to the base, then... Okay, he actually base blocked himself. Okay. Uh, it seems the computer can still do that from time to time. So I suppose I will start blowing units out of the way. With the enemy artillery in the position it's in, it's going to be tough to um, capture, but as long as I have enough units, I should be fine. Uh, I would like this unit to come down here so that the 2 HP tank goes up there. Maybe the artillery will try firing at something else. I don't know if the computer... The computer will definitely go after units that are capturing the HQ because it knows when it's going to lose through HQ capture. However... I don't think it really knows, um, I don't think it really knows to destroy capturing units if it's a capture battle, and you're about to take the last property from them. Oh no, it knows. But the artillery is really the only attacking unit that they even have at this point. Okay, just finishing up a little bit. Maybe I can push through to the enemy artillery. Uh, not really. Alright, I think that's all I can do on this turn. Um, my instinct is to build more units in order to protect my technique score, but uh, that doesn't really apply in a versus match. I mean, I could have a look at uh, my units built and lost at the end. Anyways, I think I'm good now. So... Now I'll go ahead and actually fire on the artillery. Yeah, I should not be spending time building so many units. So I don't really know how many units I've destroyed in a single turn. I would have to go back and uh, tally all of that myself. Unless this gives the artillery enough firepower to actually destroy the unit on the base. Nope. Uh, he loses, pretty much. Let's 
see. I've destroyed... This is just for the theoretical power score. So I've destroyed three units in one turn. Probably could have been, like, four, maybe. And if I build out of all of my bases... We're gonna say that the speed time is double what it normally is, so for Span Island, that's 10 turns, I think. So I've done this on turn 19, and I've built 54 and lost 12, so that's not gonna be perfect technique. And the enemy has built 45, so I would need like 5 units in one turn in order to theoretically perfect S-rank that, but that's, that's enough of that. So that's Span Island beaten from Blue Moon's position against Orange Star. I was really expecting the enemy to actually build in uh, a medium tank, but that did not happen. So that's kind of weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed the very strange idea for a one-off video, and maybe I'll maybe I'll try this on another map if th if it's possible for other maps to be challenging when played like this. I really think Span Island's just the um, only map that gets harder if you play from Blue Moon's position. Uh, anyways, that's that. I need to think up another video, so see you later, guys.